Hey there! I'm gonna do a quick review today of all the things I got for my birthday. Not a whole lot of things but a few things and it's way overdue and there's a story behind it. If you want to hear about it please stick around after the break. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, which I just realized is in the other room <laughs> that I'll need to go get at some point. Favorite fragrances, skincare, makeup, jewelry, handbags, designer goods, whatever makes you feel good about yourself because you deserve that. And I was very lucky in March, and this is now April, so you're, this is way overdue. And again, there's a story behind why this is way overdue. Um, I was lucky to get a few items for my birthday, I bought a few things for myself, got a few things from my husband, got some um, uh, presents from a couple friends, and just you know had a great had a great birthday. Was really um, happy, you know, of course, to make it another year because as we as we age, we're just grateful that we're we're still around and we are able to enjoy these things. The girls are right here, over here to the right, and they're just staring at me like, "What are you doing, mom? It's time for dinner." Yes, as soon as I get done, we'll go we'll go do that. Okay, so we're right now and just be patient. <laughs> Anywho, so I turned another year older. I'm not going to talk about how old I am, but you know, I'm up there and a little grayer, little hopefully wiser. And I bought myself a couple of things, but there, you know, I have a lot of stuff, so I didn't really ask for anything. So the gifts that I got were just, you know, nice to, nice to have and, and nice to receive. So it more like experiences and, and things like that. But of the few tangible goods that I received, um, I did get this Louis Vuitton, um, coffee table book from my husband and that's up there now. I'm going to read put it somewhere else around here, probably over here with these other books, but I just haven't got a chance to yet. So that I received. And then, um, for one of my friends, we went out to lunch and she surprised me with this little present right here with some bath and body works items, a little gift card. And then I wanted to share because it's just, I'm just so proud of her because it's just, the cutest stuff and I'm really into um, homemade cards and, and things like that. If you've ever um, won one of my giveaways or um, if I've communicated you to you in some way via snail mail, you've probably received one of my um, cards and I didn't make them myself. I buy them. <laughs> I am not crafty, but um, I have a whole bunch of different ones that I've commissioned over the years from different artists and I just really enjoy them. And she happens to make a lot of them as well. So she gave me a whole assortment of just, um, different cards and they have like a gift card section here at the front that um you can use to give away i mean they're just the cutest thing she's trying to use up all the scrapbook material that she's had for for years um and she's just going to town she's going to be a grandma here in a few months so you know she's doing that as well but just really cute um custom jeweled cards so I'm just she gave me about a dozen of them and I'm gonna get a whole bunch more from her um I asked her I'm like oh I didn't know that you were doing this I would have asked um for a whole bunch because I love to give cards whenever I send like a sample or just say hey or whatever to to folks so um just really thought that was really cute so really appreciated that and then um this next thing this is the this is the story this is the ordeal so camo chica laura um she sent me again <laughs> i think she sent it either right after my birthday or right on my birthday but it was the, i guess the tracking or whatever said that it was delivered a ways after my birthday anywho um, so it got delivered, quote unquote, got delivered. And 
I went to go retrieve it because I got a notification that I got a, had a package. And I'm like, okay. So I went to go get it. And when I went to retrieve it, they couldn't find it. And I thought, well, that's odd. You, here's the email. You, it says there, and there's nothing in my, there was no slip in my box. And there, there was just nothing there. And I was like, well, that's really strange. Why would you say I received something when I didn't? So, um, Laura ended up tracking it and everything and it said it had been delivered and signed for and all that kind of stuff. And, um, lo and behold, it ended up where they'd put the slip in someone else's box and they had taken it back with them and they don't live real close enough to the, to the area to, to bring it back right away. So, it took them a while to figure that out. And then by the time the person made their way back, it was like three weeks later. <laughs> so finally, you know, here we are, we, we get the package. So it was oddly, the box had been kind of damaged. It had like some weird stains on, it was just odd. <laughs> so I don't know if they had it in their car and they were spilling things on it. Who knows? But I, I opened it up and everything inside seemed fine. So I was like, nothing happened to the inside of the box, but the outside of the box was not in good condition. So anyway, don't know. Don't care. <laughs> in the end, it was just kind of funny. So she sent me a lovely card with her favorite little character. So that is fantastic. But I wanted to leave the actual um, unwrapping of the gift for right here so you can enjoy with me and I just kind of threw everything that was in the box in here to um, be able to enjoy it with you on the screen so very very cute little wrapping it says happy birthday and the card was very lovely as well so Ross is amiga <laughs> so I thought I would open up what what she sent over you want to see it pickles maybe it's for you Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a pug thing. Let's see. Let's see when open it. Oh. oh! It's so pretty. I think it's a tea towel. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a Chanel number no. five cloth. Oh my goodness. That's so beautiful. Or maybe it's a napkin. That's so pretty. I love it. The little pansies on there. That's beautiful. You could frame that. That's beautiful. Wow. And it's past purple. I love purple. <laughs> That's so nice. I love it. Look at that right there for right now. That's so nice. Wow. That's so nice. I'm sorry. I'm digressing. And I've got another little box right here. You want to, Dolly's smelling it. She's like, is it for us? I don't know. Is it for you? <laughs> they love to sniff all the things that, that I get. Because usually when I bring things in the house, it's for them. Very, very spoiled little puppies you are. Very spoiled. It's a box. It's a very pretty box. I think he's got a, a toy inside. Is that what you're thinking? Maybe, you never know. You never know. It's a cute little box. I love polka dots. They're so cute. Oh, yes. I love palomitas. <laughs> Butterflies are some of my favorite. Um, Insects, I guess. <laughs> I have a butterfly bush at our old house in Carlton um, that attracted them. And the shrub I have outside my window here, when it has the flowers, some come around, but not as much as they did out there. And of course, that was the country, so here in the, it's more of the city, so not as much. But it, you still see them every so often. But they're they're a dwindling kind of creature out there. So cute little package. This is not for you, Mama. <laughs> the lights like the wait, wait for me. Oh, oh, these are gorgeous, beautiful. Yes. Oh, I love the. I want to say, um, what are they? What is this? I don't remember what kind of stone this is. Um, it's like the inside of the shell. 
um, completely, completely blanking on what, what that's called, but it's so pretty and they're so sparkly. Oh, I love them. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, amiga. Oh, and I took such a long road to get here. <laughs> that's the thing. Oh, oh, they're wonderful. And that's the thing. They're, they are um, Dior right now. The uh, the cruise and I think spring collections are mostly um, butterfly inspired. So that, that's I think that's where you heard me mention it because I got one of my um, the the Twilly Bando um, uh, scarf things that had the the palomitas on it. So it was very very pretty. So cute. Um, maybe I'm, I'm gonna show you something that I bought. I, I, it might have it on there too. I don't. Maybe not. I did get something from the collection, but I don't. I don't know if it has them on there or not. So let's stay tuned. So I did end up ordering some Dior items for myself and got something from the boutique there and then the Chicago boot boutique um, where I have a sales associate and then I did online for beauty and um, the. I think I already showed this in my vlog for last month. So you have had a peek at this, but I'll show it again in case um, you don't watch those. And that's, you know, I understand the vlogs are more of a time con con um, constraint kind of thing. But the Platinum birthday gift this year was a desk set with um, some pencils and a little book. So a really cute little, little set like that. So, um, oh, okay, thanks, Pickles. Appreciate, appreciate that. <laughs> so got that, and then I ordered myself a couple of items, and I did want to talk about these because I'm not pleased, and I wanted to give an update on that. So um, got the the usual samples, lovely. A, large deluxe sample of Oud Ipasan, um, a deluxe sample of Miss Dior, and then some mini samples in there. So that was lovely. But I ended up wanting to splurge on these new Dior Forever Glow items. I got a maximizer and then I got the um, Skin Glow. Not a fan. So I put that on today and it's creasing. It makes me look really dry. Um, I got my color 1.5 N, but it's like ghostly white on me, which is odd because it's still winter, so to speak. So I'm not quite as sunny as, I mean, if it was summer, I'd be a 2C, but this, this is, this is not good. So not pleased. I ended up putting, um, like a luminizer on top of it and it looked a little bit better, but I'm, yeah, I'm. I can't say I'm a fan. And then I got this um, highlighter, blush, max my combo looking thing. And I had bought the one, this is rosy, thinking it was going to be um, like a heavier pink. So they have a pink and this was, it looked pink on the arm. But when I swatched it, and I'll see if I can find um, a clip of where I swatched it. Um, and when I swatched it, it looks really like copper red on me. And there is a copper tone of this. And I'm like, I almost thought, did they fill it with the wrong color? Because it does not look at all like what's on the website. So it was really just disappointed. And I was just, I was going to return it, but I'm just like, I didn't want to deal with the shipping costs and the exchange. There's not a boutique, um, near me. I have a Nordstrom's about an hour away that I could go to, um, but I couldn't exchange it there. So I was just going to go pick up one or go actually go test them out at the Nordstrom's and then pick up the right one that I want, but then I want to get my points. So probably just go test them and then order it online when the time comes. But yeah, it was really kind of meh about that. So that was a little bit disappointing for a gift for myself, but you know, you live and you learn. 
And last but not least, I got this item. And <laughs> the box is all crushed, or the bag. The bag is all crushed because um, in shipping, it just got mangled. But um, I didn't want to put it away yet because it has a cute little ornament. And I want to mention that um, if you don't know, when you order from the website, you get like just a box. But when you order from a boutique, they send you the gift bag with usually one of these ornaments attached to it. And it's just, they're so cute and they're heavy. They're engraved with Dior. They're just a lovely um, addition to the experience, what have you. Um, so, you know, was I'm sure it, what Carolyn did a great job pack, pack, packaging it. She's a great sales associate, but in the transit <laughs> across the country, 2000 ish miles, it's, um, you know, saw better days at some point. So well, go ahead and open her up. And this is the item that I chose to surge on. And a little bit of a story with this one as well. I had wanted to pick this style item up over the holidays with the Zodiac collection and I just waited too long to, to pull the trigger and they sold out. So um, I reached out and said, hey, do you, I know it's a long shot. Do you happen to have this? And she's like, unfortunately, no, they're sold out everywhere. And I was just like, oh, bummer. Okay, thanks anyway. I appreciate you looking. And then she replied back, but I do have this coming out with the spring collection. It was gonna come out in a few weeks. And, um, do you want to go, you know, do you, what do you, what do you think about it? And I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And she's like, well, we can go ahead and place the order and have it ready for you and ship it over to you whenever you're, whenever you're ready. And I decided, yes, I am. I would like that. So picked this up and I think it's, it's rather me, but, um, you know, so really lovely packaging. It's a tiny little item, obviously. A little cute dust bag. And it is the Spring Collection Caro card holder. And this is a five card, I believe. So, well, five slots. So two slots here, two slots here, and then the center slot up here. Does it have butterflies? It's mostly flowers, I believe. Yeah, no, no butterflies on this one. Oh, um, this is just one more kind of extension of that cruise um, floral spring type of, type of, um, collection. So I just really liked all the purple flowers and the different tones on it. I just thought it was really pretty. I don't have um, any, I think, white card holders or SLGs. So I just kind of, it was something that I didn't have. So I just thought it would be a fun addition to my, my arsenal of items. So I think it was four seventy five, if I remember correctly. I'll insert the price. Um, so reasonable, and it, it, it's the flowers are kind of almost like an embossed kind of print on here. So it's um, embossed, debossed, emboss, embossed is <laughs> above. But um, I just thought it was really pretty. So this was my my splurge to myself with a brand new item. I also have two pre-loved items that um, I am not going to show you right now. There's going to be two unboxing videos or reveal videos coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, one is from YSL. I'll give you spoilers. One is from YSL. It's a pre-loved piece that um, a fellow YouTuber um, has been influenced I shouldn't say has been has been ha, has influenced me because I just love it so much. So um, I'll mention that in the video. I've already filmed it, so yeah, that's why I'm saying that's what I'll mention. Um, so you'll see that coming. I think it's really pretty. It's a hidden gem. It's an oldie but a goodie in my opinion. So I'm excited about that. And then I have another bag that is all the rage out there in our circles. You'll see it's a it's a. Birkin-esque type of item. It's not from the row, <laughs> I'll just say that. But a lot of folks are buying this particular style of bag from this particular brand. And it's quite, I think it's a nice 
missed item. So added one to my collection. I saw them in Chicago. That might be a hint of what brand it was and really liked them there. But I picked this up pre-loved from The Real Real and I will be showing that to you soon. So hope you stick around for the future content. The pugs will love to see you. I will too. So please comment down below with any items you're looking at considering what you thought about my debacle <laughs> getting my my item thank you so much laura for my birthday present i really really appreciate it i think it's gorgeous you're a great friend really do appreciate it so i will talk to you all soon take care bye mm -hmm.